stop and go baby stop and go wow wow stop and go retrieve baby the slack on the line will usually allow the fish to eat a bait like this four play v2 16.5 centimeter and the nice winter pike that ate the lure perfectly so this is the situation when you really need to have a good set of pliers so many of you know about the stop and go but there's a one key point of stop and go retrieve that I would like to emphasize here and that is when you're fishing with stop and go retrieve bait you can use are four place lip lures or the lipsters or any sort of bill or without the bill lures it's not that important the important thing is that the bait sort of suspends slow sinks or slow rises it doesn't matter it depends on the water you're fishing but the most important thing when fishing stop and go retrieve is to have slack in your line because the slack in your line will allow two things first it will make your lure swim more naturally and freely because there will be no tension that will keep it in a straight line so it will dart more erratically and it will trigger fish then when you follow with a pause you feel free to have a bow a slack in your line when I was younger, I was sort of worried that I will not feel the strikes, but that's not the case at all. On the contrary, when a pike eats the lure that's on completely slack, uh, on, on completely slack line, it will eat the lure really deep. So we saw this with the fish I just caught. So the most important thing is pull your bait. You can pull it with a rod tip, you can pull it with the turning of your reel handle, but have slack in your line and you will be super successful when fishing stop and go. Especially in this winter months when pike are not that active, stop and go with baits like Foreplay V2, Lipsters or any sort of other lipped lures will be super effective and you will catch more fish during the winter time when, when fish are a bit more lethargic. So the, the two basic ways of stop and go retrieve are either retrieving with your reel or either with a rod tip. Uh, it's a matter of personal preferences, but there are some differences to it. So when retrieving with the cranking of your reel, you make a fairly long cast, obviously, and point your rod tip towards your bait. So parallel with the water, horizontal. And what you do, is you will have slack in your line but it's very important to have slack in your line so what you do is let your braid rest on the surface falling down from your rod tip it's perfectly okay and you should fish that way so having a bow a slack is important with this technique so what you do is have a few cranks of your reel pause a few cranks of the reel two or three or one and then pause so you will feel the strike. You have to be watching the line because sometimes you will just see your line twitch and that's... Sometimes the bites can be finicky. Sometimes you will feel it. She won't take away a rod. But generally, you will feel the pike because it, the slack will allow pike to eat the lure and turn around. She will not let go in a second on most of the occasions. Sometimes it can be finicky, but trust me, you will land more fish when fishing with the slack line because the percentages will say that fish that you do get to bite you will land them and if you're fishing with a tight line you will not hook them at all or they will fall off so one way is to fish with a cranking of the reel and the other one is pulling your lure with your rod tip so you can do it like pulling towards like up up motion like so slack again you have to have slack and right after the pull, you just lift your rod tip back to whatever, 45 angle degree or whatever. What? The, ah! No, it wasn't a fish. <laughs> it's a wood fish, but she got away. So the other, the other way is to use your 
rod tip. Like pulling with the upward motion and then pulling the rod back to 45 angle degree and have your pause for as long as you think it's necessary. Usually my standard retrieve is I guess two or three seconds pause. In most cases I think that's that's, that, that's enough, but if you think the pike are super sluggish, you can go even longer than that. Uh, the difference between cranking and pulling in the upward mo motion, I think, is... I think that when you're pulling the, your lure, because this foreplay in the water will usually sit like this, like with the head slightly towards the bottom. So when you pull it upwards, I think it reacts uh, it reacts better, it reacts, you can retrieve it slower with, uh, with the more motion, with more erratic action, if this makes sense. So this is why I think that, that stop and go with, uh, with pulling motions, with the upward pulling motion is a bit better because you will have a bit more action from your lure. So there you have it, stop and go retrieve.